How does Renewal by Anderson generate $3 billion worth of leads every single year? In today's video, what I'm going to do is break down Renewal from Anderson. I'm going to take all the things that I've learned and implemented into my window contracting clients that you can use as well to improve your marketing and to generate more leads. I'm going to go through their offer, their incentives in order to persuade people to fill out their contact forms and pick up their phone. I'm going to go through their landing pages. I'm going to go through their Facebook ads and I'm going to go through their Google ads. I'm going to go through their psychology and strategy behind everything that they do and the things that I've stolen from them in order to generate more leads for my clients. So let's have a look at Renewal by Anderson. Okay, so here we are at my computer and the best thing that you can do in order to generate more leads for your business is to like and subscribe this video. I release tons of content that helps you with your sales, marketing, and everything to do to help you generate more money, more leads for your business on this channel. By doing so, it also helps me you know, get a little bit of uh, appreciation, helps me within the YouTube algorithm. But with all that kind of stuff said, let's jump into Renewal by Anderson. So the first thing that, the first thing that I wanna tackle is their Facebook ads. Okay, so what we can see here is the Facebook ads library, and this allows us to see all the ads by Renewal by Anderson. So what we can see here is 230 results. So that's probably all the active ads that they have right now on their main corporate website. They also have a whole bunch of uh, location-based uh, Facebook pages. We can see here Omaha, Omaha etc., and, and there's plenty of other ones if we if we want to scroll down through and, and have a look at uh, just the different locations that they have specific Facebook pages for. Now, what we can also notice is that the, I'm shooting this video on November 7th, and we can see the ads are going live almost on the daily. So a, multi, uh, a couple of times a week, they're releasing new ads. And this is just overarching comments here. We can see a whole multitude of different styles of ad creatives. We can see videos, we see carousels, we see static imagery, we see all different types of uh, video and and we see like user generated content this is actually an interesting one and, and we might touch upon this one in in a few moments time but so at the top level from their strategy is that they are testing multiple different ways to uh, communicate their offers and their benefits and, and features of their service through their facebook ads so if we scroll up and we just go through some of the more recent ones and 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 these are very much um are going to be somewhat topical as well just due to the nature of the time of year that i'm shooting this video we're going to see black friday so with that being said though we can see a lot of before and afters before and afters for not only windows but for many other types of contractors and home builders for instance is just rampant gold and my advice to you is that if you do not have good photography hire a college student that has an interest in photography get the video get the, the the videos and photography shot you can use them if they have photoshop skills and video editing skills to put that stuff together if not hire another college um, student that has the skills to do that that way you can get all these marketing assets done really really cheaply uh, really really effectively and these will last you a long time and allow you to use them on youtube facebook uh, google etc etc TikTok even so let's look at a couple of key features of their facebook ads at the moment so they're not really testing too much facebook ad copy so this is the text just here so what we're seeing is is buy one window or door and get one 40 percent off so take the quiz today to schedule a free design consultation and claim your exclusive offer so pretty much we've just got a very uh, thrown in your face kind of offer here buy one window or a door get 40 percent off the next one and you know nothing too complicated a very much a straightforward hook uh and, and incentive there so they do have a little uh a little bit of a requirement a minimum of uh, a purchase of four so i see this with my window clients some have a, a minimum purchase of four some have a minimum purchase of six it's just that it, it kind of hopefully and doesn't always work in this way eliminates like those uh smaller kind of project inquiries so in, ter in terms of the Facebook ad creative, we just see a desired end result here in relation to these are just nice looking windows and we just see a series of these types of images. In this one though, we see a, a before and after. So just making this one a little bit larger, we see this really old school door compared to this really modern door that's you know very, uh, gives a, a, a much uh, different feel in terms of the, the presence of the door and uh, pretty much gives this house, uh, we don't actually see the house, but we see uh, 
an increase in curb appeal, uh, that status that is probably associated with the home has drastically increased as because that the first point of entry to any home is the front door, generally speaking. So it gives a, a much um, better impression to any visitor that will come into the home. Moving through to some more before and afters, though, we see this one here, which is really, really interesting, in my opinion. We see before and after where there is a drastic transformation, and this is very much a carousel style of ad. And they can work really, really well because now you're, you're kind of telling a story across the ad. So any kind of Facebook ad creatives that can tell a story, so any image that can tell a story or the user can interpret a story from the image uh, works so much better than just a, a generic kind of offer um, ad creative, be it or uh, be it uh, any form of image. And video is a bit different, obviously, but when you can kind of like uh, rope in the, the benefits, the offer into a story into the user and also attach to that some credibility in the in the form of social proof or uh, external parties endorsing uh, you as a business or you as a contractor um, or your product etc you'll see a substantial increase in the number of uh, clicks around your ads uh, the lower uh, lower cost per click costs and you'll see increase in conversions and lower cost per conversion so overall you get more leads at a lower cost and you make more money one of the things that I think is important about this one is that we can see the pool here and we can see the pool here. So we have um, very much the added credibility of believing that these images are real. Are, are real sorry, they're, they're truthful in nature. Often I see images in, in people's marketing where it's like, if you really sit down for just like three to five seconds, you can know, well, they're not the same images. You're just trying to fool me as the consumer and consumers do pick this up. So using like stock photography, things of that nature do not work particularly well. When they're real, you get a much better response from your marketing ads, um, very much like this, what we're seeing here from Renewal by Anderson. So another thing that we see here with Renewal by Anderson is specific offers for veterans and other different segments of the market. So the way that you can do this within Facebook ads is, is that you can target some interests such as home improvement, for example, but then narrow the audience and say, well, only people who are veterans. So they have to be have an interest in home improvement, but also include, they have to be a veteran as well. That way we know that we can... Uh, personalize the messaging, personalize both the, the messaging here, but also in the ad creative to appeal to veterans. And we can also have a, a more uh, specific offer for veterans as well. Everything ties in so much more nicely. So lastly, the, the, the next thing, or, so the next thing that I want to talk about in relation to their ads is the quiz. So the quiz has an element of, of uh, playful fun, curiosity, uh, pre-qualification as well, and kind of like a sense of, uh, am I eligible? Right, or um, a lot of people use it in order to help people get an idea of the price of their contracting service. So whether it's kitchens, bathrooms, uh, in this case, windows, it's like if I fill this out, I'll get an answer to something that uh, that, that 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 I'm thinking about in my mind as as the consumer. Now, Renewal by Anderson do not uh, tackle that um, curiosity component all too well other than just stating a quiz. Something that they can do a lot better and that I've seen with my clients is that saying that if you fill in, it, oh, I don't say it like this, but if you fill in the quiz, you'll, you'll get a, a rough estimate of what your window project will cost. Now, I've got some um, I've got some uh, quizzes that have that are pre-built and that just need to be modified to the, uh, to the particular client that work like crazy in order to generate leads. And I have no doubt because I've tested this myself, the general nature of the quiz doesn't work anywhere near as well as the pricing nature of the quiz. Let's have a natural, like just use this as a natural uh, transition into their landing page for the quiz. So when we come here, the first thing that we need to realize is that this is a dedicated landing page. There is no navigation. The only thing that Renewal by Anderson want us to do here is to start this quiz and fill it out. That's it. And, and or uh, the secondary or kind of like secondary primary call to action is to call this phone number, which they're probably going to be very happy with as well. So this is not a very complicated landing page. We have logo, we have phone, not, uh, the phone number at the top right hand corner. We have some social proof here from 78,480, a very specific number. If you're going to use numbers, do not be general, be very specific in the number that you choose because it, it comes across less as a, as a made up number or it, it can be less likely to be perceived by the consumer as a lie. So here we also set the expectation of how long this will take, 30 seconds to, to, to finish the quiz, uh, window or door replacement project, 
big call to action to start the quiz. So, uh, or you can book an intro call. So if I click that, it just, I can call through my web browser uh, or you could call through your phone uh, naturally. So one other thing that they could do here is that just remove this for desktop. So don't burden the person with a, with another kind of like secondary de-emphasized call to action. Just purely have this only on mobile devices, not on the desktop device. To the left, we just have what is a desirable end, end result of a window. It's, um, you know, th there's nothing too much happening here in terms of psychology, uh, in, in my opinion. It's a very calming kind of um, uh, feel to the image though, that might be putting the, the user at ease in terms of, th this won't be an intense company in terms of, you know, they're not gonna call me, you know, 15 times the first day, send me, you know, 73 emails, so on and so forth. So there could be kind of like an indirect reinforcing nature of, of um, trying to pass on the perception that we are not a, a you know a snake oil salesman type of company through through this image. As we scroll down, we see some really quick bullet point features: no interest, no money down, no payments for one year. There is a little asterisk probably down the bottom. We'll see what what that entails. At limited time only, take the quiz to claim your offer. I think that they don't do a great job here of what's your offer, so they don't really reiterate the offer anywhere about that the 40% off um, uh, on this landing page just of yet. But if we do click this, it just scrolls us down to the start of the quiz. And I think the quiz is a little bit clunky in in some sense. I don't think it's very smooth and in, in, in the most user-friendly type of uh, type of quiz. Uh, not saying that I have a better one for my clients, but uh, in another way, I'm saying that I have a better one for my clients in my opinion. But nonetheless, I think that just having this question and just so much white space detaches and just makes things just a little bit more uh, awkward for the person. They do well with a progress bar because people want to know how where they are and how long till it, till till I'm finished this particular uh, thing that I'm doing. So, in another way to explain it, why taxis got overtaken by Uber and other ride sharing companies is that you were you were able to see where you're going uh, when your Uber ride was going to be at your home instead of you know, constantly looking at the window: is a taxi here? Is it not here? Etc. It, the, we have a very close um, a psychological trait that we want to know the expectation of, of uh, certain things. And I think that this is a, is a great uh, addition. So here you can select uh, any of the options, window and door, window, door, et cetera. Uh, I, what I don't like is that because you can select what, one option, just once they've selected the option, move them through to the next stage of the quiz. It just kind of like greases that shoot or that slide and gets people in into the next step. So we select our uh, window option and we select the next and we've got another question, How old, we've got the next question of how old are your current windows and doors? So kind of like a pre-qualification question. So, you know, we'll answer like five to 10 years and we'll click to the next question. What problems are you currently experiencing? We can select all that applies now. Again, it's just very broad in terms of like moving from here to here. It might be better on mobile. Maybe there are purely optimizing for mobile devices. It's, uh, it's a little bit hard to, to say from an external party looking in but nonetheless we can just you know just click some random ones and we can select the next question which moves us through to what window and door features are you looking for so this will help in the selling process just a little bit but again it's a little bit uh, asking the consumer to do a little bit more in order to pre-qualify themselves into this service so it's something that i don't see uh Often enough, I think in the contracting space, we at Windows or any other type of uh, of, of uh, contracting, because most people in the digital marketing space will say that the less form fields that you have, the higher conversion rate you'll get, which is 100% true. The byproduct of that is more low quality leads. So just offering a few for uh, a few more additional, but really targeted and specific questions to your forms can often help pre-qualify people out and provide you a little bit more information for that first initial point of contact. So we'll just select just two options here and we'll move on. And what type of consultation would you prefer is an interesting one. Uh, and you know, that's purely self-preference and you know, we'll just go with virtual for, for no good reason. And here we just submit uh, your details. Now, I think one of the things that they could definitely do here is get uh just just get the first name and last name or at least just get the email address first so one of the things i'll be doing is uh, get the get the results because i'm asking for a pricing and it's a calculator it's, it's reasonably accurate in fact for the clients i just tailor the thing i just tailor the quiz for my clients based upon their pricing structures and i ask for the email first because i say uh send me give me your email address and we'll send the quote 
to you. And that gives me that email address. Therefore, I can ship them straight into an email automation sequence to try and nurture them and generate the lead. But I've asked for a small little R, such as the email address. I've given a reason because you're going to get sent the quote where I think here is a bigger um, a bigger uh, amount of friction and anxiety for the consumer because it's like, oh, I'm going to be sold now. I'm going to, I've got to submit all my information, first name, last name, email address, phone number, zip code, etc., which is all fine. I ask for that stuff, but I just get that email because if they stop after the email, I've still got their details. I can still send them into the email or automation sequence in order to generate my client's leads. And I just, I don't have great data on it. I just think in my very strong opinion uh, that it works a lot better. Scrolling down the landing page though, we just see different forms of proof. We can see more and just more images will load. We can see why choose renewal by Anderson and you know just some quick bullet points. They add dimensions to the bullet points so you can skim through them by just reading these headlines. We've got a non-stock photography based image of this uh, you know well-presented gentleman. Um, you know, just looks like you know the contractor that everyone would kind of like to have, I suppose. He's clean, looks like he has actually hasn't installed a window in his life at some respect. No, no offense to this guy, but um, you know, at some level, he just looks clean cut, honest, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So moving through though, we see some uh, just some basic reviews. I don't think they do a good job with these reviews. I think it's it's a little bit like uh they could be considered as made up. You know, did they come from Facebook? Did they come from Google, Yelp, so on and so forth? You know, who is David S? Where did he come from? What's his zip code? Uh, you don't have you don't have to have first name, last name, but I think they can do a lot more with uh, with their reviews here. And then we've just got another uh, you know call to action that just leads us back to the quiz. So a quick transition over to Google Ads now. So they spend a huge amount of money on Google Ads. So this is reporting, and this is a tool, Ahrefs are not endorsing them. It is a paid service, but uh, use them if you want, don't use them if you don't want, doesn't, uh, doesn't bother me in any way, shape or form. But 1.1 million on Google Ads, uh, their organic traffic is around $560,000 in value in terms of if they were to spend that uh, money, if they were to get the same traffic on Google Ads, it would cost them about 560,000. So let's, let's just have a, a, a deeper dive into their Google Ads. So here what we see is, uh, all the keywords that they're bidding upon, and we see something that is uh, a little bit more interesting than I than we than I've seen in other contracting breakdowns that I've made. So if you want to see more videos just like this about uh, how to make more money with your contracting business, go to, jump into my uh, playlist re referring to um, breakdowns, and you'll see different types of contractors. Uh, and, and there's definitely a lot of gold nuggets to be stolen from those videos, but. The thing that I'm referring to here is that we see a lot of competitors, so like Window World, we see Pella, and in, as we scroll through this, we'll see many, many other uh, competitors that are mentioned. So th this is the act of uh, when you're setting up your Google Ads campaign, and generally what you want to do is have this in a specific campaign. So the competitor's campaign is that you're targeting your competitor's brand names. And what you can do then is create ads that uh, contrast you with the competitor. So what that would look like, for instance, is that it, let's say that you've got a competitor ads campaign in your Google ads. And what you would say is that, well, uh, I'm going to, I'm doing the work for Renewal Anderson, not not really, but in this hypothetical situation, and I'm going to go up against Pella or I want to bid on Pella Windows, for example. When I set up my Google ads campaign, I put Pella Windows uh, in generally in phrase match, and which is in like the quotation marks. And in the ad copy, I'd say before you select uh, Pella Windows, consider question mark. And then in the ad copy, add some more levels of curiosity and then send them to a landing page that is specific around why Renewal by Anderson is better than Pella. So that's one way to leverage all the work that your competitors are doing, but still make uh, you know money from that in a really easy way because they, they've done the work in order to generate the interest and you're just leveraging leveraging that that uh, that interest that they spent money on next what we see though is a lot of product specific or service specific kind of keywords so we see patio doors we see uh window replacement replacement windows window installation so on and so forth and these are very uh you know specific types of keywords they are very product centric they are very customer centric and they are very behavior centric so we know that the people that are searching for these keyword phrases they know what they want because it, it, it's a product centric keyword, so patio doors. So it's a very specific uh, keyword in that nature. We know that the only people that will search that keyword are the people interested because 
no offense to patio doors and people that are patio door enthusiasts, why the hell would you want to look at that you know, keyword phrase unless you're interested in purchasing? Now, something that I am seeing here is that they send a lot of traffic to the home page, which is generally one of the worst things that you can do. And I don't think that there is a good reason to do that by renewal by Anderson. And we will have a look at their at their home page in just a few moments. But we also see some uh, more specific types of uh, landing pages that are geographical, are, are geographically specific here. So we've got Orange County, but we also do see some like French hinge patio uh, doors here. So again, it's a much more specific landing page in uh, to, to cater for that specific. Uh, a keyword phrase. So essentially, we're just trying to create this very congruent journey for the customer. And that being the person here is searched exterior patio doors. So we have a fair idea of what they're interested in, exterior patio doors, and we send them to a landing page that is around patio doors. And we can see that it's hinged French patio doors just by the, uh, the URL here. And just to reiterate, just their homepage taking up a huge portion of traffic, 76%. Just do not think in any way, shape or form that this is the best strategy for them. And generally, I've seen just a handful of cases across my 17 years of, of doing Google Ads where this has performed better than a landing page or a more specific page that caters for the intent of the search query. Now, with the Google Ads and like this, the actual ad text that they show within their ads, I, I think they can do a great better job in terms of targeting Better benefits, uh, also uh, the emotional aspect to the to the product that is windows and doors, and I don't think there's anything too special, unfortunately, to learn from here. But in terms of some added value that I can provide you from what works is that definitely having like a strong call to action or a strong offer can work really well, and definitely within your um, RSA ads, definitely having those in so allowing Google to to show the. The best permutation of your ad. So, if you're familiar with Google Ads, you can have a, a you know a whole host of different headlines and up to four descriptions, and filling those out in different ways and, and different themes and having multiple RSAs running at the same time allows you to really narrow down on your messaging. And I just don't think Anderson um, are doing a really good job here because renewal by Anderson definitely is probably a strong feature because they are so well known. They're one of the biggest window and door companies in the United States, but just harping on your own kind of uh, self worth or your own status or your own uh, uh, your own story uh, caveat to a story, but just talking about yourself is generally not the best avenue in relation to your ad copy. Speaking about what you can do for the for the for the consumer is definitely the way to tackle this. So people are always thinking about what can you do for me, not what can I do for you. Uh, as much as uh, JFK wanted to to say uh, otherwise in his uh, historic uh, keynote speech. But in your ad copy, you have to be communicating what you can do for the consumer. Uh, and more specifically, what can you do for the consumer that other people can't do, right? And, and that's where you'll see really big lifts in conversion rate uh, and significant drops in your cost per lead with significant increase in the amount of leads that you get. So we, we just see some really basic, uh, I, I don't mean to be too basic, but uh, the ad copy the ad copy here isn't going to, uh, you know, win any awards or, or you know, just knock anyone you know out of their out of their shoes it's really basic bullet point kind of kind of stuff here award-winning we see just energy efficient beautiful affordable etc etc we do see a little bit of uh of emotion here so uh, our superior hassle-free process and you know it just that is somewhat helpful and i think is targeting so if we just have a look at the landing page here uh, really, really quickly, we'll see that it's actually going to the home page, and we're going to check out the home the home page in just a moment. Having that call to action and and kind of an offer incentive here, like get a free window and door quote, I think is very strong and uh, something that is definitely required within uh, within your Google Ad copy. Having a time frame around that, so you could say within twenty four hours or within forty eight hours, you know that's just uh, you know whatever whatever you can offer in terms of speed so speed is something very important and i think that people do not use often enough within their ad copy both with on uh, within any platform TikTok, facebook google youtube etc i think speed is an underrated uh, motivator for people and i'm not going to i'm not going to touch upon renewable anderson's ad copy here because i just don't think it's worth uh, your your time or my time moving through though to a couple of other landing pages that i think uh, is very much worth uh, 
considering. So here we got a really much, uh, really uh, a personalized um, landing page here. So I've got my VPN on, so I'm just located in a place in, in Ohio, which I think is uh, west of Illinois. Um, just outside Columbus here and uh, so just here and what we can see here is just a whole bunch of um, products that have been reviewed so and like these are these are finished jobs so it gives a sense to the person visiting this page that these guys have done a lot of projects and we, we've got a visual representation not only do we have just a, the, num the numerical representation of 12,000 uh, plus um, the jobs completed, but we also see the number of reviews, 4.6 star rating, and this gives the person a lot of credibility that a lot of people in my area, if you live in this area, have used these guys and they have had a you know the desired end outcome achieved. So, and we also see a uh, a, a testimonial. We see uh, Amy and Brian K. Again, just that level of specificity around two names, I think. Uh, makes it so much more credible. We see the number of stars. We see from Washington, Ohio, and we just see that uh, you know the, the text that uh, accompanies this testimonial. At the top here, we see just like "Welcome to Renewal by Anderson," just, just reinforcing that you've selected the ad, you have reached the right the right place. Uh, reinforcing just the, the product and service here, call to action. Again, I think that this section here, both on the desktop, is scrolled. Uh, you have to like scroll down with your eyes. Uh, it's not below the fold, but could be below the fold. So you have to scroll down on your phone in order to see it. Uh, so it could be below the fold on the phone, but this could be also up here as a uh, a sub headline. So we've got because it's a strong offer and it's a very common offer. Uh, buy one get one free uh, or two ninety nine at two point nine nine percent financing, and we can see offer details and it'll take us to a slightly different uh, page that will reinforce all the information uh, and we're just having a little bit of a back problem here okay, so doing these wind uh, videos on the fly i have run into a problem here where i can't actually get back to the exact landing page now so they're using some kind of like personalization software it could be google optimized could be vmo and uh which is a bit of a pain in the backside for um for this video but uh you know doing these things on the fly you get to hear my own thoughts and, and commentary about things as i see them so moving forward with that little burden that we have, we see the offer on this landing page, which is very, very similar to the previous one. Uh, we, we see it uh, in, a, in a slightly more um, um, deeper uh, deeper communication. So we see more about the offer. So buy one, get one free, 50% off, uh, $0 down, zero interest, so on and so forth, and for 12 months. And this offer explained in this sense is pretty good. I don't think uh, just technically picking, it's awful to read, light background, white text, line heights too close together. I think having this in bullet points would be much more uh, impactful, easier to read, easier to digest. What's not read is not, uh, has no transference in value. So I think that uh, they could definitely do a bit better here. Uh, top quote categories, we see again the reinforcement of uh, the location, the personalization of the, uh, of the location. So uh, this is, uh, I assume, Ohio in the map. And we just see a whole bunch of uh, testimonials relating to Ohio-based people, uh, thanks to my uh, VPN doing some of the hard work here. So again, reinforcement of social proof with reviews, number of jobs completed, the hassle-free process. We saw that mentioned in one of the Google ads. We will have to we have to see if that is mentioned on the home page. This could be a variation of the home page, in fact, but uh, we'll, we will dig into that in just a moment. Uh, in a few moments, we see here that we can get, also see commercial properties uh, get inspired to so potentially some kind of video, uh, and we just see a couple of um, just associations uh, and, and um, community projects or uh, um, what you would call. Um, sponsorship endeavors that they partake in such as the the american cancer society or just trying to reinforce that they're you know a legit company that they you know are partaking in that social goodwill so something super interesting that has popped up is that the home page is actually has a really high level of personalization which is super cool so this is uh one of the most interesting things and something i will be stealing in fact uh, is this this portion here is actually on the home page and it personalizes in real time and I think that this is absolutely fantastic and I cannot wait to to roll this out and test this myself so anyone that comes from anywhere in the United States this will personalize and this will 
uh, just create a more personalized form of communication with the consumer and no doubt has had a dramatic effect on their conversion rate because this is working for both Google uh, ad traffic, Facebook ad traffic potentially um, as well, and also their organic traffic. So this is why we're seeing so much of that Google ads traffic being sent to the homepage because it is personalized and it is working like crazy. I have no doubt. This is really well done by uh, Renewal. And the way that I got this was just going into incognito mode and just being able to see this again. It's a, it's a fantastic strategy. And I, I think that this is something that uh, I think everyone can steal from. What I wanna talk about last is TikTok. It is the most underutilized strategy and tactic that is not being used by contractors uh, and, and guys in the construction world. So I'm trying to move as many clients as I can into the TikTok world because growth is so much easier than any other content, content platform, be it Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, et cetera, et cetera. And there's a lot of overlap. So you shoot one TikTok video, it goes to Instagram, it goes to YouTube shorts, it goes to TikTok. And it's just, a, it, it's, it's like you, two birds, one stone. It's actually like three birds, one stone. And the other aspect that you get with TikTok is, is that you can produce some pretty uh, easy to produce videos and you get really big returns like 245,000, 147,000. These are big reviews that will generate many, many leads. So they've only got a handful of videos and they've already had a, a handful go viral. So 245, 77,000, 78,000, 26,000, 147,000. So as we can see here is that they're starting to learn what works. And the more you do this, and the more that I've seen my clients doing this, is that I'm starting to learn exactly what kind of frameworks work, what kind of hooks work, what kind of introductions, what type of topics work. And Anderson doing the same thing. They're starting to hit more viral videos more often. So definitely something to keep checking back uh, on in order to see what can I do in order to copy their framework of videos that go viral into my business. And I think that this is something that, uh, uh, is, is is super cool and unfortunately just not many contractors or fortunately many contractors aren't in the TikTok space. If you want to generate more leads with your windows and or door uh, contracting business, reach out to me. You can just go to my website at brenhamill.com. Scroll down here, smash this button. It'll take you to a contact page, fill out the form. It's completely free. You and I can have a chat for 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes. And the whole conversation is about how much value I can give to you about any of the questions you have about generating leads, making more money, et cetera. Again, it's completely free. There's no sales, uh, kind of like bullshit mentioned. Uh, if you want to talk about working together, I'll let you bring that up. If you don't want to talk about working together, don't worry about it. I'm not going to bring that up. So if you want to generate more leads, press that like button, press that subscribe button. And if you have any topics that you want me to discuss in the future, drop a comment in the comment section below.